So today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Ultimia Poseidon E40 Smart Projector. They sent me this unit to review, but they're not paying me to make this video. I don't get paid to make any of these review videos. All these opinions are my own. So I'm pretty excited about checking this one out because it's the most expensive projector that I have reviewed up to this point. It's right under $500, which kind of puts it in this interesting spot of being not what I would call necessarily a cheap projector, but a budget projector, and it's portable. It has this big handle on top, and the idea here is you can take it with you outdoors and while you travel. One of the main reasons I'm so excited for this one is because it has Android TV, which is not a feature that you get in a lot of projectors in this price point, and I think it makes a huge difference on enjoyability. So I'm thinking the first thing we do is test this on my table behind me, simulating a portable style, put it kind of close to the screen, see how it does, and then hook it up to the ceiling and a simulated home theater setup and use the full 120 inch screen behind me. So let's go do that. So I set it on the table and I still got a nice size screen. This is what I'd call a medium throw projector. You'll get about a 100 inch screen at about nine feet away. When you boot it up, it'll automatically adjust the keystone correction and autofocus settings. I find it's a good starting point, but if you're a perfectionist like me, you'll wanna go into the projector settings menu where you can apply a manual corner adjustment. And it does have a focus button on the remote too that can be adjusted at any time. Now the specs look pretty good on paper. We got high brightness, it's rated to 1000 ANSI lumens, which I think is acceptable in this price range. But it's kind of like the minimum of where you want to be for like a home theater setup. It's got 6D keystone correction, autofocus, auto screen alignment, and intelligent obstacle avoidance. And that's actually pretty good for what you'd get with most projectors in this price range if it works. And then it says 4K, well 4K decoding HLG and HDR10. And this is what I'm kind of suspicious of here. I do want to make a point to say, even though it says 4K and 4K decoding, this is a 1080p projector. I feel like that's a little bit deceptive to say. It can take a 4K signal, but it's going to show you 1080p. As for hybrid log gamma and HDR10, I can tell you without even testing this out that I highly doubt you're actually going to get a true HDR picture from a projector like this. It just it doesn't have the brightness, and I seriously doubt it has the contrast ratio to deliver the dynamic range needed to get a true HDR picture. Now, it can probably take an HDR signal and a hybrid log gamma signal, but is it going to actually be an HDR projector? Probably not. Now, in terms of picture quality, I compared it to the Arzen Boom 3, a projector that I previously reviewed that's at a bit of a lower price point. But I think the Ultimia Poseidon is the clear winner here. It's much brighter and has better sharpness and color accuracy as well. One thing I did notice is that these standard picture settings seem just a tad sharp and a little bit too contrasty for my taste at least. And I prefer to set it to the soft picture setting because I think that looks more natural. Now let's talk about Android TV because I think every projector should have this because it's so awesome and it's just so easy to use. You don't have to worry about hooking up a bunch of external streaming devices to play your content. It's got Netflix, Disney, Amazon Prime, pretty much any app that you would need to stream. And the remote actually has a voice search feature, which I think works decent. So in a completely dark environment, the picture looks really good and I definitely think it punches above its weight. But like I suspected before, it's not true HDR just doesn't have the dynamic range. The blacks are crushed a bit, which gives it kind of an overly contrasty look, but the shadows do lose a little bit of detail here. But let's be honest, for portable usage, these criticisms are completely fine by me for the price point that this projector is at. And I actually don't think it looks bad for home theater use either as an entry-level projector, which we're gonna test out right now. So hooking this up to the ceiling was a bit tricky, there is a tripod mount on the bottom here, uh, but it's kind of hard to angle because it's kind of bulky and has a vertical shape to it. So I ended up using this handle and just kind of setting it on a shelf bracket and angling it down at my screen. And this is where the keystone correction kind of struggles because of the steep angle here. 
I ended up just adjusting the settings manually here, turning off the auto adjust so that it wouldn't try to reset the picture every time that I turn this thing on. I was able to get it to fill the screen just fine. And I gotta say in a dark room, the picture quality looks really good. Even the edge detail is much clearer and sharper here than other projectors that I've tested at this price point. So I do think the 6D keystone correction and some of the manual correction controls on this projector are definitely really good for the price point. The brightness is fine in a completely dark environment, but it's still kind of on the low end of what you'd want for a home theater, but absolutely serviceable and pretty decent for a portable projector. Now, turning the lights on, it's still visible, but you can see it is heavily washed out at least at this viewing distance. Now the Poseidon E40 also has integrated speakers. It has a little bass port on the back that says Ultimia Sound, and it's got speakers on the left and the right sides. There is also Bluetooth audio here, which allows you to connect a wireless speaker setup. I found this to work really well, actually, when I connected it to my wireless sound system. So final thoughts here on the Ultimia Poseidon E40 smart projector. I really like it. I think this is actually gonna become my go-to projector for my home theater because it is the best picture quality that I have used so far in this price point. And at least until I save up so that I can purchase a 4K, a true 4K, home theater projector. I think for portable use, uh, this handle is pretty awesome. It definitely feels substantial and sturdy when you carry this around. It's got a little resistance to it, which is nice. So if you do set this down on a surface, it's not gonna wobble around. Ultimately, I think the Ultimia Poseidon E40 smart projector is pretty great value for what you get in this package. And I definitely recommend it if you're looking for kind of a budget projector that you can bring on camping trips, maybe put in the backyard. And yes, even if you do use it for home theater use, as long as it's in a kind of darkly controlled environment like I have here, I think it's gonna look pretty great. Even though it does have a few shortcomings, which I think can definitely be overlooked at the price point. And if you're interested in picking up one of these projectors for yourself, I have included a link in the description below. If you want to check it out, let me know what you think in the comments below and thanks for watching.